What's going on, guys? This is your boy, Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to talk about marijuana. And I'm going to give my side of the story and show you why I, I think there's a problem going on with the startup community. Before we start, you can like and follow if you like. Please. <laughs> if you don't want to, that's fine. Cool. That's fine, too. We are working our way toward the PC soundboard. So if you want to donate, you can donate right there. We appreciate you. All right, let's go ahead and hop into this video. Who is that? Me! DJ, start the song. One time for the one time. One time for the one time. One time for the one time. One ounce when I smoke pine. One mistake, but no crimes. One girl. What's going on there? Notice the dirty jacket. Everybody, it's your boy. What can I change? JK Lock Jolly. Dirty hoodie. So, Ashy hands. So, I've been trying different types of dabs. And. Today. And this is going to be a regular video this time. No. So before we continue, what I want to explain of why I'm making this video, because I think there's a misconception that when it comes to marijuana, DJ, can you take that off the screen, please? When it comes to marijuana and it comes to um, smoking it and consuming it, I think that people don't understand that in this community, in this donor community, it gets pushed to you pretty hard that it's perfectly okay to wake and bake, smoke after you get up, smoke right before you get to work, smoke during your lunch break, smoke after you get off work, smoke before, oh yeah, smoke at your lunch break, smoke when you get off, smoke before dinner, smoke after dinner, smoke right before you go to bed, and then maybe do a light, a late night smoke sesh when you wake up from probably insomnia. Okay, I think that we push marijuana far too much. I'm not saying, oh man, make it illegal, all of that. I'm just saying we should treat marijuana like somebody who drinks too much. Somebody who's drinking every single day, even if they're just getting buzzed. And we know that people who smoke marijuana every day tend to get high, like way past buzz. We should be like, hey, man, that's probably affecting you. If you feel like you have to be high 24-7, there's probably something going on, right? And a lot of people would say, well, medically, it's good. A lot of people smoke recreationally. Let's not, let's not have that argument. A lot of people smoke for recreational purposes. Not everybody is smoking because they're dealing with the... Uh, a medical issue and the reason and for the people who are dealing with medical issues the reason they're smoking marijuana is because they had the medical issues a lot of people these days just smoke for fun but let's continue with my story here shatter and this is the indica and um has some weird stuff in there all right cool let's hit it i'm gonna show you all a couple of videos but I'm well, this show is you. not as clean as the uh more expensive dabs but i hear that crumble got me just as smoking. And well, this is a dab pen pockets. for you guys who don't know. Sorry for my hands. The electrical nasty. dab pen. Wash my hands. Right. Cheers. Or a nectar collector, whatever. <laughs> Look at the dirty jacket. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm back, I'm back. We're gonna like do I, one more. I'm pretty sure I just woke before up. Before we do one more, let's get a little, get a little talking in. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I just think it's a, it's a pretty good life, man, you know? I'm trying to get more excited about things, you know? I'm all pretty peaceful and stuff like that. All right, so there's one video. Let me show y'all another. I just thought that at this point in my life that everything was just so great. I thought smoking meat, I thought smoking weed was the pinnacle of life. This is the only re reason to live. You know what I'm saying? Uh, why is that partially blocked? I'm pretty sure there could be uh, <laughs> music in that video, so let me not pick that one. Let me go with this one right here. Mm, yeah, this is good. Right, there's going to be music in here, too. I just want to play it out. What's up, guys? I thought I'd just go ahead and make this video. Man, it looks so much better on the camera than it does in reality. Like, it's not my shirt and my everything looks so super bright. It don't look like that in real life, dude. It's looking like... 
three o'clock here, but it's like seven. Listen to how anyway. I'm talking. So we're just smoking on a little, you know, little flower here, you know. I gotta say, you know, um, let me get a thumbnail. Let me see what flavor I'm going with. It. Something like that. <laughs> anyway. Dirty shirt, not Karen. Oh, this is man. the last time. This is around the last time I talk about I'll stop wearing t-shirts. You know, and some of the things I've been thinking about. When I have a little flower, I haven't done a smoke with you guys, so. I <laughs> thought I thought I was so cool smoking this marijuana all the time. I'm gonna let this play in the background while I talk. I thought I was so cool smoking this marijuana constantly. I told you I got to a place, guys. The reason I started smoking so much is because I didn't care. Right. I love the feeling of not caring. I felt like, look at me, I was getting, I was obviously putting on my weight. I was eating junk food all the time. I was working a job that I kind of like, didn't like, right. I just, I, I, I me, me and my wife were um, having problems in the marriage. And I was just like, man, I just, at this point, was I married at the top? I think I forgot my ring in the car. I mean, ring in the house. But so anyway, I'm sitting here living this life. And I just got to this point where I felt like, man, I felt like if I smoke weed, I could be less of myself, which is the person you see now, the person who talks a lot, the person who likes to express the feeling. I thought if I smoked enough marijuana, I just wouldn't care. I didn't care about politics. I didn't care about life. I didn't care about anything that was going on, looking at porn all day. And that's just what it was. And, at the, you know, and just living this grand life of thinking that this is where I made it. And the stoner community will have you believe that this life is OK. What? What smoking marijuana does to you sometimes, it, it kind of kills your motivation. Why? How does it kill your motivation? Because I hear this all the time. And tell me if you've heard this before. I, I am a productive stoner, right? I smoke weed to be productive, right? I can smoke weed and still be productive. If you can't smoke weed and be productive, the problem is on you. Here's the problem. You have to smoke weed to be productive. That's where we start having a problem. I'm not saying you can't smoke marijuana to be productive because I did it. However, what it does is it makes it to where you feel like you have to smoke to even be productive. I'm sure you heard the quote too. I smoke weed to get high. I know you smoke weed to get high. I smoke weed to do the laundry. We're not the same. It's that kind of concept. It feels like you always have to have it. You always need to have it into you. And you feel like people who don't smoke weed are like, oh man, this person you feel like everybody who doesn't smoke weed can't open their mind. They don't get it, man. They don't understand it, man. They don't get life. If you're smoking weed all every day, every day, all day, I'm telling you right now, there's a problem. Because you need to feel sad. You need to feel anxious sometimes. You need to feel stressed out. Those are beauty, the beautiful things in life. And if you can learn to turn anxiety into something great, if you can learn to turn stress into something great, if you can learn to turn being sad into something great, if you can learn to turn being angry into something great, you're moving forward in life because a lot of people have to deal with emotions with no marijuana because their job won't allow for it. Hey, shout out to the subscriber, man. Shout out to Vaughn. Um, you need to allow yourself to feel these things. What people want you to do with marijuana is what it does. I'm not going to say it for... It does say that if you smoke, it does lower your IQ. But I also want to say that it lowers your it lowers your ability to deal with life. It does. I'm not saying it's for everybody, but I'm telling you, the vast majority of people who smoke marijuana are trying to escape. They are trying to escape. We say the same thing about people who play video video games constantly, right? We say the same thing about people who drink all the time. We say the same thing about people who look at porn. All the time. We all call these addictions. But for some reason, when it comes to marijuana, when it comes to marijuana, even myself smoking all the time, I, for some reason, couldn't see it. I could not see it. I didn't realize that me getting fried all day, wearing dirty T-shirts, gaining almost being 400 pounds. Look at my neck. Don't care about my hair. Just growing out my facial hair, not caring about what I look like to the people. I would go out in public like this. I would go out in public like this because I thought the concept of smoking was to be free, to be myself. 
I don't need to look good. I don't need to look great. I need to smoke and just relax at the world. That's what I'm saying. It makes you feel like you're escaping reality. You don't want to deal with anything. And if you do deal with it, you got to deal with it high. Right? Anytime I got sad, I smoked, man. Anytime I was happy, I smoked. When I was upset with my wife, I smoked. When I was upset with life, I smoked. When I felt like a loser, I smoked. Because it, it helped me deal with it. I wasn't dealing with it because the day I stopped smoking, I went right into panic attacks, right into more anxiety than I've ever had in my entire life. I wanted to take my life. I was doing derail. I was uh, dealing with derealization, depersonalization. I couldn't feel motivated to do anything. I would sit up, guys, on the weekends when I wasn't working. I would sit on my couch for eight hours a day. Not even kidding you could not move I was so dead I felt like I couldn't live that's a problem why can't we see that smoking every day is an issue it's not something that should be praised not something that should we should glorify it should be something like maybe you may need to slow it down and allow other people in your life and another problem that happens is the pandemic pandemic caused a lot more people to want to just stay in the house and smoke because people could work from home if they could and if they couldn't they still could smoke all day so people got more heavily involved in marijuana or other drugs and it makes you stop talking to people i got so bad when i was still smoking marijuana i got so paranoid i literally thought that if i walked out of my house somebody was gonna knock me out with a bat or something And I'm not even kidding. Like I'm saying that it may sound funny, but I'm serious. I struggled to leave the house. I was so afraid of people and nobody was even walking the streets like that. It just made me so paranoid. I sat in the room in the dark. I got this big bright light in front of me right now. I didn't have that before. I used to smoke lights off and I'll show you one more video here of me. Show you what, what, what life I was living. Just give me one second to pull this up. This is me, man. Feeling so cool. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to the smoke stream. Uh, hopefully, guys, when Look the, at me. Uh, I, actually, by the time you see this, YouTube, y'all will be able to. Uh, uh, you'll same be able mic. To, uh, I'll see you. Same mic. This was not too long you'll ago. You'll already see my outside stream. But I'll start doing some more outside live streams once uh, once Kick gets an actual oh, app. That's, a, that's another video yeah. plan. Supposed to be coming out sometime today, oh, but once it gets an actual app that I can live stream, not here. I'll start li- live streaming outside. Maybe live stream some vlogs, you know. Oh, we'll play it here. That's fine. Look at this. Thank you, man. I see me a big old lady, dang bitch. My anxiety, either side of a planet. We're gonna switch it up here in a second. Falling back into the same traps, man. Tell me up a little bit. Huh? Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm trying to show myself smoking here. Cause I want to show you guys how how I felt so cool. Look at me.
I'm telling you right here, guys, I was fighting so hard, so hard in these videos just to keep myself sane. I'm smoking in these videos because I thought I was being cool. I was being so relaxed. Once again, fighting all day to be relaxed, to just let the anxiety go away. This wasn't helping me. Once again, I get lied to. And I was lying to myself. I said... I can't lie to you guys. Sorry, Okay. Look at me. I'm not even talking. I just want y'all to see how awkward it looks and how cool I thought I was. I'm trying to just relax and breathe and smoke. So understand, man. I understand this life of smoking all the time. I understand this life of going through these things. But I can also tell you, sorry, sometimes I, I look down at myself. Uh, I can tell you, man. Smoking marijuana can be a great thing. You know what I mean? For some people medically, it can really help them. But this recreational smoking, y'all see what it was doing to me. I'm sitting here rapping violence and stuff like that, thinking I'm cool. That's what marijuana does. It lowers all of that. It really makes you think you're cooler than you are. We watch people smoke weed all the time, and they look so cool, right? And it's like... Well, yeah, man, you they you feel so much cooler than you are when you're really you're just trying to escape the realities of life, of moving forward, of growing up, of becoming a man, becoming a woman. And it's stopping you because you feel like you have to be in this constant state of being high, this constant state of relaxation. You need to be stressed. You need to deal with being sad. You need to feel uh, not clinical depression but dealing with being depressed you need to have those feelings because when you don't feel those things when you do have those moments of joy when you do have those moments where you're truly relaxed there's so much more beautiful so much more than when you're sitting here trying to create it with a plant all the time just take a step back if you smoke marijuana okay I understand. I'm not going to tell you to stop smoking it. If you want to smoke it, whatever. If it's legal for you. But don't smoke weed to escape all the time. Live life. Deal with it. Because the more you run, it's going to catch you. Trust me, I've heard hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stories of when people stop smoking marijuana, it catches up to them. And if you guys ever want to hear that, just Google it. Just Google an anonymous group. And go join a group. Right. Jo join it with good intentions. Don't go in there with bad intentions. Just shut up and listen. I did that. I sat there, shut up and listen. Listen to the stories. And I want you to hear them out and just ask yourself, am I doing too much? Am I smoking all the time? Am I sitting in my room in the dark? Do I get anxious when I don't smoke? Ask yourself. Okay. Marijuana is not a bad thing but you can make it a bad thing. Don't let it take over your life.